Diabulelo Petrum Sebenzi Wanam Shanje and is our Zamukul Koba Kibata Hore Koho Bukoshi Bonebu Wafa Kidumalana Lebone Kahore Rubuem Malemi Arona Me Kahore Renali Milaeza Erebatan Hore Utrekim Ole Mongwe Retali Koba Tazien. I, I wish to begin by saying to the students of the University of Fortaire, over the months, the days and the years, one thing you have learned is that you stand on the shoulders of women and men who are giants. And all that stands before you is the question, since you enjoy this advantage of height, what are you going to do with that advantage? That is the question you must answer. That is all history is looking for from you. I am deeply honored and humbled to be granted this opportunity to represent briefly the family of my grandfather, Z.K. Matthews. I'm a bit embarrassed because my aunts are here, the daughters of Z.K. Matthews, Dr. Matthews and Mrs. Ngakani. And I wish they would have agreed with me that they should speak, but they forced me to be here. We also have my cousins, Sipo Makubela and Temba Makubela, and my uncle, Mr. Gianni Makubela. So the family is well represented, and in order not to have a fight in my house, my husband as well. <laughs> so, uh, so we're very, uh, we, we're very pleased that K. Matthews was an extremely humble person and would be deeply honored at what is being done in his name today. I associate myself fully with a list of distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, who are present here today. But I would not be true to myself if I did not recognize the Vice Chancellor, the Chancellor elect, the Council Chairperson, the academics of the University of Fortaire, as well as its Senate and members of Council, and of course, Vice Chancellors from universities across the length and breadth of our country. I would not be true to myself if I did not recognize the leadership of our great organization, the African National Congress, the Secretary General, the Treasurer General, and the Chairperson of the African National Congress, Speaker Balek Ambete. Madam Order. <laughs> I also must recognize my colleague ministers, our senior minister in government, Minister Khadebe, our minister responsible for this institution, Minister Bladen Zimande, and of course, our colleague minister, Minister Lindiwe Zulu. And then our colleagues, in the provincial government, the Premier, the Speaker, in the legislature, the MECs, and all of you all, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I was reading the memoirs of my grandmother, Frida Matthews, and she was one of the female students at this university. And everybody forgets to mention her. And of course, many of our leaders, who we tend to think of only as men, are often great and do great things because their wives, our mothers, allow them to do them. 
And so we must not forget the women of Forte. In her memoirs, she relates how her family reacted to her proposed engagement to ZK Matthews. ZK was a Motswana. My grandmother was a leading daughter of the Kosa in the Eastern Cape. She was the daughter of John Knox Bogwe. So you need to understand these connections. So they had to reply as to who, who is this Matthews? And they explained in that meeting that ZK Matthews is a puti of the Bangwatu of Botswana. And my grandmother's family in turn explained to the Matthews family, the uncles sitting with them discussing this proposed marriage, that our grandmother, Frida Bokwe, was Makhila of the Nika people of the Kosa nation. I've learned this from my grandmother's memoirs, which are a fascinating record of the ZK, the Bokwe family, the ANC, and South Africa. Forte and the African National Congress are inextricably linked. I say this not for the sake of politics, but for the truth of history. One of the fascinating features of Z.K. Matthews was that he combined the academic pursuit of the truth with a political commitment to the liberation of African people from political and economic oppression. He did not say, I'm an academic. I cannot be political. He did not say, I'm an academic. I cannot belong to a political organization. He said, in order for my people to be free, I must put my intellectual strengths to their service. And this is what all of us must learn to do. He combined his study of anthropology and law with an active political involvement and found his true political home in the African National Congress. I'm sure the Honorable Prince Mangosutu Butelezi will give you a full history of this great son of the soil. I would like to briefly say why we are so thrilled as a family that Forte continues to be a site of celebration of this history and record. When you think about Forte, what comes to the forefront of your mind is the courage of African people in standing up in their belief that we as Africans must not be denied higher education by virtue of our race. And that if we are denied access to institutions that existed at that time, they as African people will create an institution where our children's intellectual resources would thrive. What courage, what leadership of thought. And it has lasted 100 years. We have an obligation as the inheritors of this mantle to ensure that the history continues to thrive. Steve Biko said famously, you can only be an oppressed person if you give your intellectual capability to the oppressor. We must never give up our intellectual resources ever of who we are and what we are capable of. The university has played a sterling role in South Africa's struggle for freedom and its influence across the continent 
can be ascribed to the convergence of great minds in one campus. Never be exclusive in your inclusion. It denies you the opportunity of great intellectual wealth. Never be ethnic in your selection of company. It denies you great intellectual wealth. The beauty of Fort Hare was its non-racialism, its inclusion of the whole of Africa, and its belief that no matter your standing, your status, your gender, you too had the right to exploit your intellectual capabilities. We must maintain that at all times. You as Fortair must become increasingly an institution committed to intellectual achievement. I'm glad to see the improvement in the research profile of the university. And in order to ensure that the history is written, our Department of Science and Technology has committed funding to the book on the centenary of Forte. And it will be, it will be a fully researched book by academics from Forte leading the process. It will be a book that tells the full history and it will be a book that will be properly funded. And if those who work with us could agree, we would love to see the Lovedale Press produce that book. I believe that the role Forte has played in the development of leaders for both South Africa and the continent is something this university should be proud of. Indeed, in my view, Forte is not just an African university in terms of its history, but is a university of worth in Africa in terms of its sustained efforts to build on its rich legacy of con confronting challenges that face higher education institutions today. Our government, led by the African National Congress, has invested huge sums in institutions such as this one, has improved infrastructure, has supported the creation of better administrative systems, particularly here in Alice and in the developments on the campus in East London. I believe ZK Matthews would be justifiably proud of the advances in higher education introduced by the African National Congress since the advent of democracy in 1994. Of course, all of us need to do more. But what we must do is what the council chairperson has urged us to do. We must learn, yes, to hold hands in collaboration, but most important, we must learn to stand on our own feet. It's absolutely important that we don't create the notion that by circumstance of history, we have to depend on someone. And so, in memory of our grandfather, I pledge, along with the chairperson and others, that I will make that same commitment and personal contribution each year. And I think, I think all of us must do so. Whether it is 10 rand, or as some of us will do, a few thousand rand, whatever we contribute says to the world, as Biko wanted, that we are not giving our intellectual resources to anybody. We are not oppressed. We are free, and we know how to stand on our own feet. I thank you very much.
Ladies and gentlemen, the ever-inspiring Minister Naledi Pando representing the ZK Matthews family. Indonga yes, yoke minister, kukuba apembuma koloni, ukewa bizis tuko.